How do you say that? D U E R S T. Did you remember Durst is the worst? <laughs> Durst the worst, bitch! <laughs> Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! The first question is what does the word black mean in Spanish? When you're saying Black Lives Matter, it means inequality, disparity, and uh, uh, segregation. It means that uh, you have a, a predominantly uh, disadvantage with our Black youth, men and uh, male and female. And it's a problem in the country, and it's a problem here in the state of Wisconsin and Milwaukee County where you're having uh, more black males or uh, brown people of color locked up than you have in uh, centuries where they're more than modern slavery. So that's a concern when you have incarceration at such a, a, a mass and, 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 and you have a police officer, a mother of a young black male myself. So I'm not talking from what I heard. I'm talking from literally experience. And, tra and training my son and my daughter how to uh, navigate the police system and saying, uh, be polite, yes sir, but being pulled over 20 times, you're the same kid with the same car, with the same car insurance, mm -hmm. and being uh, humiliated, thrown to the ground, dog searching your car, and you still come up with the same results. So if that's not uh, 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 terror and trauma, in your own neighborhood, that's what Black Lives Matter to me. It means that my African American son should have equality and be uh, treated fairly within our uh, uh, in our penal system here in uh, Milwaukee County. So that's where the disadvantage lies. And if you're not that parent in those shoes, then you're seeing from a different perspective. But what I'm saying is, try to put yourself in my shoes and have a son that you love just like I love my son dearly, I love my family dearly, and I want them to be treated with uh, fairness. It's not that I'm looking for any additional special privileges, it's that community, get to know me before you judge me. I grew up in Milwaukee County, 53206. I'm a product of 53206, one of the uh, uh, most misrepresented uh, areas in the city of Milwaukee. I come from parents of uh, 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 World War II, uh, Great Depression parents. Both of my parents were uh, from Tennessee, where they were sharecroppers. So when you talk history, it's not far-fetched. We're talking about my parents. We migrated here in 1966. It was the first time my parents ever had a, a restroom inside the house. So coming from such a humble beginning, it instills that values and morals inside of us. So one size doesn't fit all when it comes to community, and we all can protest to that. We have different uh, uh, dysfunction within all of our cultures and families, but one shouldn't be stigmatized because of the color of their skin. Thank you. Thank you. Who else would like to address the question? What does the Black Lives Matter mean to you? And I can respond after after you get to that person. Okay, so somewhat similar to what um, the beautiful African American <coughs> stated, um, what Black Lives Matters means to me is that as an African American or Black or whatever you decide to call yourself with my people. Here, um, it means that my life matters. My life is important. When I leave the house, when I do what I do, I should be treated the same way as you all would be treated. I'm not a group, I am a person. So when you see me, you should not see me as a group of black people who could possibly steal something from you, rob you, hurt you, or any other racist thoughts that may be in your head or what you have heard or what you have experienced. You need to get to know me for who I am and know that my name is Delora. 
not a group of black people, African American people, whatever you want to call it, but know that our lives are just as important as any other life, whether it's a blue cop, blue lives matter, whether there is whatever we want to throw these um, acronyms out to make it, to desensitize that black lives are not important. All of that is just another way to demean and degrade us because, again, our lives are just important and we want that equality when we're addressed. We want that same equality when we're communicating. We want to just to be able to know that, you know, when you come to me and you're talking to me, you're seeing me and not me as a marginalized group and whatever else. Thank you all for sharing. Um, so just to give a little background, if folks are not aware of how Black Lives Matter actually started, and I put myself also in the same context as the uh, woman who just spoke, that I speak for myself. I'm not a Black Lives Matter uh, member because we don't have a chapter here, but I do support the movement. Uh, Black Lives Matter started after Trayvon Martin was murdered um, by George Zimmerman. And again, just like the woman was saying, people at that moment knew that something was completely wrong. Something had gone terribly wrong in Trayvon's case. And the movement of people just wanting to affirm that this colored skin of mine actually means something. And the way Trayvon was treated by what a vigilante in a neighborhood was not humane. And so Black Lives Matter started after that, but to affirm constantly that we are human, we have dignity, we stand tall just like the rest of the people in the room or people who don't necessarily have the same color or skin tone as us. And again, the Black Lives Matter began to um, quickly take on a mind of its own after um, what happened in Ferguson with Mike Brown. And that is where it kind of uh, sparked. And they decided to actually have chapters in different states. So it started with Trayvon Martin, but it didn't end there and it's continually growing. And I actually myself was pulled into the social justice movement um, with Don Trey Hamilton was murdered by uh, Christopher Manny. And that's how I got started. I was a person who was just sitting at home and I remember, and I had never before in my life thought about social justice work, never before in my life thought about um, the work behind it or the families behind it. Although um, I have two black brothers who have often been pulled over by police as well. I grew up in the suburbs of Milwaukee, but it didn't stop you know that from happening to my brothers. But I remember just sitting at home and watching Dontre's mother and his family um, at the park, Red Arrow Park, where he was shot and killed in downtown Milwaukee. And I remember just he seeing and hearing his mom cry. And I just thought, I am moved out of my seat and out of my comfort to go and be with this family. I am a person, um, I'm a Christian as well, and there was no way on the in, in the world, and I know that this is a calling for me now, but there was no way in the world that I could continue to be comfortable sitting at home and watching something that I knew was wrong. So I didn't know what was wrong, I didn't know what I could do, but I knew that I had to answer something on the inside of me saying, move to action. That you can no longer sit and be comfortable anymore. And I went to school to be a sports broadcaster. And I worked at Channel 12, I worked at Channel 58, I worked at 620 WTMJ, but that, that isn't where God wanted me to be. And he landed me in this work and I haven't stopped doing it since. And I don't have all the answers. I don't know all of, um, I might not be able to answer all of your questions. I just know that God continues to equip me to do the work that he's called me to do, but he's also equipped me with this heart that won't allow me to just be present on the sidelines. It's not an option anymore. And so that's how I got engaged in the work. And for me, Black Lives Matter is just what it says. My life matters. My brother's life matters. My new nephew's life matters. Lisa's life matters. Marco's life matters. And some people have not respected that. They've lost that I am a black woman, and that's it, period. And that I should be respected and treated with dignity as any other person 
is if I can roll down the street, <laughs> going to wherever it is I'm going, I shouldn't be profiled. But unfortunately, that was something that was actually happening here in Milwaukee. Um, in the ACLU's lawsuit, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, actually there was a, a stop and frisk pa um, practice with the Milwaukee Police Department that was exposed by the ACLU, and now they're actually through with the litigation, and now they're going through a process where they have to be monitored because of the um, racist um, and discriminatory stops that they were making here in Milwaukee. When I think of uh, Black Lives Matters, and just so people can understand, Black Lives Matter too, and I think that that's something um, when I talk to my white brothers and sisters, when I hear them say, well, all lives matter, I say, well, of course all lives matter. I, I don't think that that is something, I think most of us should, should generally have that in our head, all lives matter. But black lives matter too, but because we know that black lives haven't mattered since we came here from, from the motherland, taken from our homes. We are living on foreign soil uh, just to think about that, and how many millions of s people who were enslaved, and, and if you, you ever have gone online and seen how they were put on the ships and things like that, they were devalued. They purposely put them together with a, people of different tribes, different languages, different cultures, to break them up, to make them easier to manage. And so we need to kind of understand that and understand the real history behind that. If black lives really matter, why don't we really know the real history of all of the things that black folks have contributed to this country? It was a big uproar when Michelle Obama said that slaves built the White House. It was, it was an uproar, wasn't it? You remember how it was an uproar? And why would that be an uproar? It's the truth. It's the truth. Why isn't it taught in school? So, you know, if black lives matter and all of these other cultures and races and every, different people with different languages, why wouldn't we be teaching it from just a Euro, white-centered point of view? If black lives really matter. So I just want you to kind of, kind of think about that 